But first, today on the Alan Nursall Experience, Alan meets up with a group of racers called the Sweetie Girl Racers, and these women really know their stuff. And he's actually going to teach us how to kick butt around a go-kart track. Today, Anna from SGR is going to teach me the most technical section of the track. It's called the catapult. If done right, you'll feel the highest G's of any indoor karting track in Canada. If done wrong, well, you ask Sweetie Girl Racing for help. Oh, man, that's so much fun. But they're good. They make me, I got a lot to learn. Wait up, guys, wait up. <laughs> I'm last again. Yeah. <laughs> come on, chop, chop. Oh, here we go. Well, Alan, you've come to the right place. We can definitely help you with your racing line. I need help? Definitely. The first step to going fast is not your right foot on the gas pedal, it's both feet on the track. Let's do a track walk and break down each segment of these corners so that our racing line is good. Where I'm standing right now, this is going to be your turn-in point. So you be stay right far here. to the right so you can swing high speed to the left. Exactly. I am getting this. Because in order to obtain the fastest line, you want the arc with the largest radius. Start from the outside, progress to the inside. That will be the apex. OK, so this is our apex right here. Got it? OK, I have one question. Sure. What's an apex? That's a very good question. <laughs> The apex is the mathematical center of the corner. So when you tip one corner, you've got an entry point, apex, and exit point. But this isn't just a single corner in isolation. This is more than that, isn't it? Exactly. This corner right here is actually a combination of two corners combined. It looks like that should be the apex. Why is it over here? Aha! This is the late apex. The late apex is important because not only are you looking at this corner where we're standing, but we need to look further down to see that it's a sequence of corners. So hitting this corner is all about setting yourself up for the next corner. Exactly. We've got turn-in points, apexes, reference points, visualization. How are we supposed to remember all that? Not to worry. What we're going to do is we're going to put cones out for you. We're going to put cones at the turn-in, the apex, and the exit points. You're going to know exactly where you need to be to be on your optimal racing line. I got it. I'm ready. Let's go racing. Visualize, visualize. Hit the mark. You, coach. Great work. We are now going to take all the cones away. Gas, gas, gas. Let's go. Whoa. Ah, that's terrible. Alan, you're getting smoked. Come on. Whoa, what was that? Oh. You should have known that was going to happen. OK, slow down. Everybody, stop. All right, Alan. What are you doing? I'm passing Varmini. Yes, you are. I got it on the inside. Now, you did a perfect entry point. You got a perfect late apex. But your cart is right now set up to go where? Uh, I'm kind of pointed at the wall. You're going to the wall. That's not where you want to be. I was going to take her with me. Our exit point is right there. She is, in fact, where you want to be. All right, let's go. It's easier at this speed. Look ahead. So what do you think, coach? Well, being accurate and consistent is super hard. It's not easy. It takes practice. You're well on your way to becoming a much better driver. Your racing line has very much improved. When you feel yourself hit it right, you, feel, you really feel sort of the car and your body sort of holding together and, and working and holding speed. Mm -hmm. When you hit it wrong, it, just, <laughs> it blows up in your face. <laughs> Thank you, Anna.
Thank you, Team SGR. You guys are amazing and fast. Gotta tell you. You're welcome. Anytime, Alan. <laughs>